What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. God damn it. How do you keep worming your way into people's hearts? I'd say let's go get Kokichi out of the way. Might as well. He was tied with Gonta and somebody else. So I guess... Sure. To appease the fan base of Kokichi Oma. And to appease his massive ego. Might as well talk to the Ultimate Supreme Leader as our final social link of the day. What's going on, shithead? I'm disappointed. Would be absolute madness. We're having so much fun in this interesting game. Danganronpa, it's a way of life. But... Just ask the cosplayers. It's Mew, Kokichi. It is always unnecessary. Especially when she starts talking about her... plot. Despite my misgivings. I have a feeling that's gonna get worse and worse as time goes on. Yes, I would. I would love to give Kokichi a present. And again, keeping with the theme, going into the higher numbers, I saw this, and it basically screamed Kokichi's name at me. The mummified hand of a monkey said to grant three wishes. However, none of the wishes it grants have happy endings. Well, this just screams Kokichi, doesn't it? Oh. Wow! It's true! Uh-huh, yeah, keep telling me that. I'll choose to believe it. Hey! What's the game? What's the game? Shuichi! I'm sorry? Huh? Like an actual tea party? Hey, hey! Pretty please? Okay... Wait! I can't believe we're actually doing this. We are doing a tea party with Kokichi. <laughs> Be sure to keep one pinky up. Okay. By the way... Wait... Like, break time? Or nap time? Because I would believe either one. Yeah. Uh, excuse me? Wait, that actually makes a lot of sense. He has never laid a hand on anybody yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess he would be a pacifist. Having all of his little minions do all of his dirty work. But... Huh. No. I don't want to be in heaven. I've got so much more to do. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Does it have benefits? Y you might have me if I can get good dental and physical. But I am curious. Why? Why do you want me? Um... Of course. He wants me to be a fresh body to take a bullet for him. Because? Fun, fun. Be your active killer and be killed in the process. <laughs> yes, killing you away. And so time passed. Ellipsis all over the place. All right. Wait, that's it? Just tea party and you're out? Huh? No, no, you wanted the because... tea party instead of the game. Did you screw me over with your own stupid rules? Wait! Shuichi, have you ever considered that this is a losing game, no matter what we do? Whether we actually play the game, or play with dolls, it doesn't matter. He's always going to win. Which is probably how he got his organization. Huh. Right. I took my snack break, time to play with blocks! 
He really is a kid at heart and in mind. But as always, it was still interesting to talk to you, Kokichi. You're keeping things interesting. Oh, can you imagine just like waking up in a cold sweat and you hear hee hee hee? That was really bad. Let me try again. Hee hee hee! I suck at that. Sorry. Ooh, let's see the conclusion to the story, if it is a conclusion. Mom, Monotaro! This is an announcement! You are messed up. Like, you can't remember anything. Can't remember the time, can't remember where you are. Can robot bears get dementia? He can't even remember his sister lover. Monotaro. Such a tragic story. <laughs> I need a minute. Anyway, about training. We've actually started getting into a routine, and I kind of love it. Get Kaito and Maki together, and let's train! Even though Maki shows us up at every single opportunity. Oh, nothing, Kibo. I'm just about to work my ass off. You know, ugh, getting buff. Need to get me a permit because I'm about to own a couple of guns. Yeah. I guess. Hey, wait, I just realized... Almost every murder in this game has happened at night. That's right. Ryoma's was at night. Angie's was at night. Rantaro, I guess you could... No, that would have to be at night because it was right before the end of the day. Right before nighttime. Hmm. The only death that happened during the day was Tenko's. And that's because... <laughs> Kyo made a ballsy move. Remember... Yeah. You know, that entire time I was speaking, I kind of looked away from the text, just, you know, th thinking to myself, pondering, if you will. And I knew yeah. they were talking about Kokichi without even looking at the text. Especially when they said, I don't trust him, he's dangerous. There you go. That's all you need. He's the only one that fits um. that description. Are you actually watching and waiting for the next event to happen between funny. the bears? Oh my god, Kibo, you're the one to bring up the moral implications. Please stop! Oh, come on, you're fucking Mew. I don't want to hear about inappropriate relationships. So it's two machines just like going at it. Hey now. Just, just pounding it. Just pounding it. I'm sorry, PS4 controller. I'll stop pumping you. Wait, no. Anyway, before I dig my hole any deeper, let's go talk to Kaito and Maki, my favorite people. And there they are. Kaito? Hmm. You okay? Nope. What happened? Is it because you punched Kokichi and you caught the virus? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Huh. I love this idea. Huh? I love this idea so much. Anything, Maki! Idiot. The floor's open! And I know Kaito's not just getting out of exercising again, because that would be stupid. Oh, this is gonna be great! So, what are we gonna talk about? Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? 
Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh, right. Then let's talk about Maki. Yes, let's. Me? What about me? You know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For example, what blood type do you like? Kaito, she's not a vampire. She's an assassin. What blood type do I like? Don't you mean, what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. <laughs> For being Luminary of the Stars, I didn't think he would be this bad at small talk. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Are you seeing anybody? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? I mean, you are small and cute. Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. Now, hold on. We've got something here. I am legit curious about this. Ah, uh, really? Sorry. All right then, let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. I grew up in an orphanage. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me. But I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. Oh my god. Widow Itty Bitty Maki is so freaking cute! Huh? <sighs> uh oh. Just in case you weren't paying attention to her social link, we know where this is going. They wanted to see who would grow up to be cold-blooded killers. Okay. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. I think I had some natural talent to begin with. But I worked incredibly hard as well. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day, and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about that all the time. <sighs> oh my god, Maki. Okay. Like, I knew you had to go through, like, rigorous training, but they nearly killed you. Ah. 
Like, that's intense shit. You know... It's a bit of an understatement, but still, it's terrible. Uh, um... Listen up. That's right. Take all the burdens you have on your shoulders right now and put them on Kaito. He deserves it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I love it. Got it. Might be a bit of a soft spot on my own part, but I love it when cold-hearted ice queens suddenly crack their armor and show some emotion. What's going on here? Did you call for me? You know, I was wondering when something like this was going to happen. Not too many people have called on Monokuma to ask him questions. And of course, it had to be you. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Technically, no. Ooh. I wonder, did Kokichi actually find it? Was that card key actually to the door behind the bookcase? I don't know. Right? Oh, Kokichi, you could either be playing your own game or playing Monokuma's game. I'd like to think you're playing your own game, and you somehow tricked Monokuma into liking you. And another thing. And then Monokuma says this, and all of a sudden I can't trust Kokichi anymore. You really don't get it. <laughs> Plotting, scheming, the sprite becoming more demonic. I like it. Come on, Monokuma, anything to make the game more fun. <laughs> oh, God! Do you know what this means? Somebody out-eviled Monokuma, and he loves it. Yeah. Yeah, you're one evil son of a bitch. Let's have more fun! I'm getting chills by looking at this. And so will you. Especially when you see it as you're falling asleep tonight. This face shall be burned into your eyes. You will see nothing but this face in complete darkness. And when you least expect it, he will be there to torment you once more. On tonight's Monokuma Theater, Back to the Future! That's right, you can never predict when somebody's gonna be incredibly stupid. 
without telling a single lie. No one in the history of the world has ever done this. Which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather go through life. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, right! Me and my fellow liars, if there were more honest people, we rule the world. I love how he equates stupidity with honesty. Oh no, he's channeling Kokichi!